Hello, today we have a very exciting presentation, which is the evolution of reciprocating instrumentation. And I have uh, entitled this presentation, The Golden Era of Reciprocating Instrumentation, because truly, we are in a golden era of those instruments right now. Let's talk about the history. What is the past? The past of nickel titanium comes about in 1991. That's the first generation. We have passive radio lands, we have fixed tapers, and we have one cross section. We have instruments that only whatever we section was one design. And then we have from companies that launched into the market in that era, a package of four instruments to prepare a root canal, and some of them 18 instruments to prepare a root canal. Then the second generation is in 2001. Now we have active cutting edges. Now we have a file that really engages in the canal wall and cuts instead of the previous generation that scrapes the canal wall. We have changing tapers. Now we have different tapers. It's not a constant taper. We have different tapers in the active portion of that uh, file. And we still have the one cross section. It means that whatever we cut that file, we will have the same design. And again, companies from four instruments to 18 instruments. That's the past. If I can call the present, when did the present start? The present starts in 2007. Why? Is the new nighttime metallurgic uh, changing, the, the evolution of metallurgy. And at that time in 2007, two companies were in the market with different type of nickel titanium. Then in 2010, we have the other generation of files. Now we have a file that is very active. It has changing tapers. It has two cross sections on the file, and it's only one instrument in 95% of the times to perform root canal therapy, and it has unique movements. Then, look at the uh, dates, 2012, 13, 14, and now 15. We have a file that has an active, uh, it's a very active edges. It has changing tapers, and again, the metallurgy, the improvement of the metallurgy have changed. Now we have different colors, we have blue, we have gold. That's why this uh, presentation is the golden era of root canal instrumentation or root canal reciprocating instrumentation. If we look at the history, and we have everything right now in front of us, from the first generation to the second 10 years, from the second to the third, seven years, from the uh, third to the fourth, three years, and then every single year is changing. Why? because technology, and now the endodontic field has really embraced all these changes in technology to provide better treatment for our patients. Reciprocation is nothing new. In 1958, Roger Blanc in France invented this contrangle, which it was called the gyromatic. And from since then, we have gone on and on with different devices through the years that they will do reciprocation movements. It is important to understand that the desired canal shape can be prepared with virtually any series of instrument. But what is important is that the risk and efficiency that varies from instrument to instrument, and sometimes from company to company, the risk and efficiency of these instruments. In 2010, at the IFI meeting, at the World Endodontic Meeting in Athens, Greece, that it was launched way one. Since then, we have been working very, very hard to improve this instrument. We've been working since 2011, Dr. Cliff Rottle, Dr. Willy Pertot, Dr. Julian Weber, and myself, to bring you Way One Gold. That is, has remarkable improvements over Way One. This is the logo, and these are the files Way One Gold. I'm convinced that you are going to incorporate this instrument in your armamentarium, I'm pretty sure that you are going to use this instrument very, very soon.